interview with a goat dairy. Hopefully not as boring as interview with a vampire. <laughs> now. Oh no. <laughs> so if I do I have to feed a, a loose mineral or a block mineral or anything like that? I, I actually question. do both. Yeah. I actually am planning on expanding my minerals that I'm offering. Okay. We offer a green salt block, a big white one. We offer a trace mineral block, and we're about to get ourselves a sheep mineral block because it has more selenium. Mm. Um, Aren't area. goats allergic to selenium? What? Can't goats get too much selenium? Yeah, but our area is selenium deficient. Mm. We also have a loose mineral. Uh, we use the MFA. Uh, what do they call it? Goat, goat shield? shield. The goat shield mineral. Mm -hmm. It has calcium and phosphorus and things we need to <clears throat> make milk. Mm -hmm. So there's that. Um, okay. I'm trying to think of what else we, we offer in mineral varieties. I offer minerals that have needed to goats. Basically, when you've got a goat that's pregnant, you might notice that she gets something called milk goiter. It's an iodine deficiency. So technically, I'm not feeding them a mineral for that because I don't offer iodine or do iodized salt, though I could and it has helped. Mm -hmm. um, iodized salt is expensive. No, I. Uh, but I do put that out there when they're pregnant, like really do. pregnant, like third yeah. trimester. I'll put a couple pounds out there of iodized table salt. Yeah, but what you can mm -hmm. do if you have a milk boy <clears throat> is you can feed kelp, which is not actually a mineral, but. It's could I get away mineral. with loose kelp? You could probably try loose kelp, but that's kind of pricey. Okay. Yeah, but what do the goats say when you try to make them eat kelp? Oh. <laughs> so they don't look like it. But you can get it really cheap uh, from Ameriherb.com. Yeah. Um, that's A-M-E-R-I-H-E-R-B.com. Yeah. It's like $4.90 a pound. So it's pretty cheap that way. You could probably afford to do it. Are you getting paid to tell me that? No! <laughs> oh, they're just who I use because they're so cheap. Yeah. Okay, uh, 22 for monkey. Monkey. Now if I ask her a question, she's going to forget her number. Yeah, be very, very mm -hmm. quiet. Being very, very quiet, aren't we, monkey? Can you think of anything else we need to uh, tell them about vitamins and minerals? Um, what if during, the goat has a deficiency? During pregnancy, they have a tendency to run uh, shy on vitamin E and selenium. Mm -hmm. So we offer flax seed. Like a handful of it handful. in the bucket. In there, because they get a half a, mm -hmm. they get about ten ounces of grain during uh, pregnancy, the last two months of pregnancy, mm -hmm. and during that time we throw a handful of flaxseed on top of their food, and it has vitamin E and selenium. Though maybe not selenium. I think the selenium was in the wheat. We took the wheat out, and that's why we're having a selenium deficiency problem. We have to so that's why we're block. putting the sheep block back. Yeah, we're gonna put the sheep block back. And um, we realized we were having this problem because Blondie. Got really stiff all this in this is area. This is cupcake. I know, but I was showing the area. This is cupcake. She, got stiff she walks her and she got really stiff in the legs, and that's supposed to be a selenium deficiency. Yeah. And if your goat should whoa. start having horsefly. Whoa, horsefly. Where'd he go? Over there. Okay. He's gonna get us. Yeah, okay. Get a no, it's fine. He left. Okay. Right. Um, mm -hmm. You can, uh, if you got a goat that's suffering from. Like stargazing, you can give them vitamin B. Thiamine is mm -hmm. supposed to help with that. Or yeah. Seizures. B complex. B complex, yeah, there you go. B12, all the good stuff. B6. Or seizures, a lot of times, is B deficiency. Yep. I'm trying mm -hmm. to think of the other vitamins that we give for our goats. We have tried giving calcium to increase milk production. Oh, that didn't work. It didn't work. That was rubbish. I tried giving colostrum to does. <clears throat> but colostrum does help them recover directly after kidding. Yeah, just like a 20 cc dosing syringe full is plenty. It helps their stomach. Mm -hmm. um, you can do. I'm trying to think of all the different stuff we've tried. Oh, we just found out alfalfa is high in selenium, so we're going to start mm -hmm. getting some more alfalfa. If we can afford it. If we can afford it. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. Um, omega fatty acids are really good for skin and coat to make them really shiny and pretty. Mm -hmm. That's also nice. But you don't want to get those from a fish source, which is mostly uh, what they're from. You gotta be really careful. You gotta get it all from plant sources. Vegetable-based, vegetable because their gut can't handle animal sources. 
<laughs> yeah, and they get anthrax. Like <laughs> okay. Supposedly. Um, oh, we just found out that magnesium helps with back pain. <laughs> yeah, but that was for me. <laughs> okay. For you. Okay, <laughs> I think that'll have to be a wrap because we're at five and a half minutes. Bye. Bye. Bye.